<laughs> you know, I've got three minutes to tell you about the weather, or we could just talk about birthday party expenses and how that goes, girls versus boys, on and on and on. You know, you, you could not tell them about it, but that's not cool either. So you're going to be spending money. This is the low we're watching for a cool down, but don't affect us till Sunday. Big weather in Louisiana and big storms in the western part of South Dakota. Nice temperatures. Not much change here from day to day as we look across the nation with 70s near the border. Nice weather in Portland. Look at Seattle. Wow. Above 80. There's our live look at Pismo Beach. Not many people around. This is a live picture, by the way. So, sun setting on the ocean. How great is that? That's going to change because this is going to move closer to that area starting on Friday, clouding things up a little bit. But not much rain. We think most of the rain is going to stay north, like near Vancouver and Seattle. 96 is what we have now. Winds are west northwest of 13 miles per hour. 97 in Porterville. Not bad. We've got mid 90s in most spots. 97, though, up at the lake. 84 in Tehachapi and 90 at Fraser Park. So it's been a hot day in some spots. Wind speeds, not much change here. 10 to 15 miles per hour from the northwest. A little gustier in Mojave, but not that strong. And even in Monterey and Paso Robles, temperatures nice. 60s and winds out of the northwest around 10 miles per hour. So above average for the first time in days. 68 was the low this morning. So your air conditioning still running, but not as intense as it has been. 100 in Fresno. Wow. They did it. 90 in Burbank, 102 in Paso Robles. So the warm up is on for the next 48 hours. And then we get to Friday, a little change, but not much. So we're just kind of hovering around these numbers you see here 97 to 100. 73 in San Diego was 77 in San Francisco. So this low has a lot of moisture with it, but the trajectory, if I can say that, the low goes up into BC. And that's where the rain goes with it, too. This is future radar, 48 hours worth of it. You can see where the rain goes. All off to the north in the Pacific Northwest, so nothing here. Unfortunately, it'd be nice to get rain in August. It just doesn't happen very often. So tomorrow, 100 in Fresno, 98 in Yosemite. That's on the valley floor. 70 for San Francisco. That's a nice day. And down south, we have temperatures that are a little warmer in spots. 78 Santa Barbara, 66 for Pismo Beach, and around 60 to 63 for Morro Bay. 87 at Disneyland, if you're still trying to go before school starts. 108 in Palm Springs, and for our area, some spots hitting 100 like Taft did today. And then we have 95 on tap for Porterville. Let's go to the mountains and talk about mountain weather there. Cooler naturally, but still warm for this time of year. 86 in Tehachapi, 88 Glenville, and 99 at Lake Isabella. Desert regions, it's going to be hot in Ridgecrest in California City. 105 for both of you guys. And tonight's low, around 70. Tomorrow's high, 98. Not bad for this time of year. A little bit above average. And there's some heat out here. But overall, we only have 28 days now of 100 or above. And none in August yet. And early on, it was looking like we were in for 40 or more. Right. The way we started July rough. with 10 in a row. Yeah. That scared us. All right. Thanks, Colin.